Hi guys, welcome back to this ML series on building ML apps using ML Kit on Android. So today we are going to see post detection activity. So as mentioned in the last video, all the code is already updated to my GitHub project as part of this commit. So you can actually go and check it out, like how we built this two use cases, driver drowsiness and post detection. So most of the code is copied from Vision Quick Start given by ML Kit Android itself. So I've just added some more classes to make it more easy or more usable. So this is how it works. So we have the post detection and then once you go in, it will use your camera of the mobile or in my case, the camera of the emulator or my desktop, which is wired to the emulator. And then you can see it is correctly able to track the arms and the eyes and mouth and all the stuff. So basically, yeah, a very easy to integrate. Uh, so for face detection, we didn't have to add a library, but for post detection, we added these two uh, libraries or these two dependencies. We are using the accurate uh, detector option. So like before, we created the ML video helper activity, uh, which was also used in uh, driver drowsiness detection. If you want to know more about this code, please see the previous video uh, where I have explained how it actually works. But for post detector processor uh, or for post detection, we just reuse the same ML video helper activity and uh, we created this uh, post detector options which are passed to the post detector processor. So it basically takes all these options. Uh, this processor was also written by Google as part of building quick start. So I've just used it. Very simple. Uh, it gives you all the information and they have also defined all the classes which you can use to. Uh, specify or uh, use like how the uh, frame is and how you want to actually use it. So if you want to use this code to actually track whether the person is correctly following yoga poses or Zumba dance, you can actually do it. It is possible. So a lot of code, so a lot of classes, we are not going to go one by one, but yeah, uh, like we are just using accurate options and we are using the stream mode because we are built it on top of camera actual live feed that is why we're using stream mode you can also use single image mode if you want to like analyze images for poses so yeah all that is there and uh, only thing most of the options are very easy so we've just passed passed this accurate pose detector options and we are using the frame likelihoods, which will show the uh, dots. So, so yeah, uh, the camera source uh, is just the camera, which is getting the frame processor. And every frame, so what is happening is in this code, at every frame, uh, an input image is created and which is passed to this post detector processor. And this detect in image method is called, which will then run the detector on top of it and then it will classify the results and you will get this classification object which will have the poses so this is the pose class this is also written, uh, as part this is part of the ml kit library and then you have like uh, whether all these human parts or human body parts can are detected or not and how they are so all these things are possible so as mentioned before if you want to like build on top of it by classifying whether a person is correctly following yoga poses or correctly doing a doing a zumba dance it is possible you just have to build a model on top of it so yeah if you have any doubts in this integration please do leave them in the comments and i'll try to get back to you thank you for watching